you Okay. <laughs> hey, Tape 72. My name's Dave Corran from Coxtown, Dunmore East. And I'm uh, Richie Murphy from Creighton, which is near Dunmore East. And we paint collaboratively, like Gilbert and George. So what we do is, like, we start out by, um, we usually start out anyway working with acrylics and uh, water-based paints. We get a build-up on a, on a board or on a piece of canvas and usually we end up finishing with oil-based paints. So, start out with acrylics, we finish usually with, with oils. Most of these are finished with oils. And initially what we try to lay down is a texture, just to not have a blank canvas, but the, the whole thing behind painting collaborative for us is to, the discussion and verbally talking about how to compose the painting, uh, choice of colours, composition, how we do it, and but, but most importantly that it's done with joy, basically. That's the end of yeah. the day. And we found that it really works, and it actually affects both of our styles outside working here together. Yeah. So like my, my style, for instance, would be much cleaner, it would be this, this type of one up here, you know, which is a very clean type of a painting, but with strong colours. Whereas Dave's ones tend to be uh, more drippy and uh, beautiful, but it, m much, much different. But then when the two come together, we, you know, from the, the two of these mixed together ends up with something like these ones here, you know, which are collaborative paintings, yeah. true and true. Um, I blame Ben Hennessy for it, basically. <laughs> He started uh, me, the, the first collaborative painting I did was with Ben in the book centre, the big painting behind the screen. I couldn't figure out why Ben was letting us do it because it was his. But that gave us the freedom to think about collaborating because I've been working with Ben in theatre and that's a collaborative form of art. So I've been painting as well. That's really private and you can't verbalise it. So by doing it together, or with more people than two, you can uh, you can come up with some good options and choices and new avenues yeah. to, to go down. You know? One of the big advantages I find, you know, for me anyway, is that I, I can tend to take quite a bit of time to make a decision as to what I'm going to use, what colour I'm going to use, where I'm going to put it and all the rest. But when you're painting collaboratively and you're looking at a piece and you're saying, what do you think, Dave, if I was to put in a bit of crimson into that, you know, in this section here, and Dave might turn to me and say, yeah, no, that'd be great, go for it. Why don't you add a little bit of blue to it? Yeah, yeah. And, and, and tone it down a little bit, you know. Brilliant. Decision made, two seconds, like, and it's done. Yeah. You know, so, in, the, uh, in the early days, it was different because we, were, we weren't we were really trying to compose, we just wanted to paint, so we'd be bunging loads of domestic house paint on. And I'd be trying to sort of nudge the composition in to make it something that's, that was nice to look at. Um, and I'd be going... Please use red, please use red. But I wouldn't make a decision for the lads. I think red, yeah. And maybe they did. But if they didn't, they were entitled to make the mark. And then we would have to compensate for that. Because you can still, if you don't like it, at the end of the day, we can paint over and start again. Yeah. And, and that was, I wanted to do a workshop where you actually do a paint and then you get a window cleaner and scrape the whole thing off afterwards. Well, we did that. Yeah. <laughs> One stage, and, yeah, yeah. And then all you have is a photo of a painting that lasted for 30 seconds. And then you go again on the same piece of canvas. Yeah. You know? yeah. So you get... You lose the fear yeah. and then the boys would then, they started painting on their own and I'd be watching. And then we would come back together and do another collaborative one. It was great. Yeah. It was fun. Yeah. But yeah. at the end of the day, you see, having that respect of other people yeah. in the room and, and truly collaborating, the, if, if, you, if you're not doing what you want to do, well, that's fine, isn't it? Because you'll get your shot ten minutes later. I mean, I've laid down some lovely lines. Oh, I'm so proud of that. And he can't plow through <laughs> So um, be it. So yeah. like, oh, and, oh, and, and vice versa. Yeah. Like, I, I, yeah. like yeah. I made marks and I talked to her just so nice. Like, you know. yeah. And then five minutes later, you know, I, I'm still proud of that. And he comes in and he puts a wash over the whole lot, like, and it's all just blends out and disappears. Inevitably, <laughs> inevitably, it ends up better.
for some reason it ends I up don't better. Know how, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah, I don't We'd know often, how better, but. we'd be going, uh, as I'm doing it, I'm saying, Richie, I think I should put a bit of red on here. <laughs> and it's already on, so he's got yeah. no choice at that stage. But that, that's fine, you know. <laughs> well, what we do is every, like, we paint in Dave's studio here every Monday night. So then when, when we get a, a, a piece of canvas out or a piece of board out, at the same time, we will dip into paint and just start applying the paint at the same time so that, yeah. so that everything is going on at the same time. The colours start blending into each other and all the rest. Um, and that's great fun. Always with music in the background. Always that would be an early nice jazz. start. Like, that's just a very quick start where we're trying to get something on and it's the stuff going that way and the stuff going this way and then probably not going that way for a while. But I mean, I did that to that one. And then all of a sudden, three months into it, it turns into a landscape of the woods because I was up and down to the woods all the time. <laughs> Inevitable, really, when you think of it. And yeah. that's, there's no actual choice. <laughs> it just happens. Just, just for the hell of it, I'll just give you a quick demonstration as to what we would do. So, like, we, we have a, one here which is not any great shakes. But it's a very old one. Uh, yeah. But we had fun doing it. But so like for example, like you know, we might just come along and, and start putting uh some marks into this um just by putting a wash into it. Oh there he goes again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah we'll well Richie is definitely a red man. Uh, and yeah, I'm definitely yeah, a blue yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. So there's, there's some blue there, Dave. If you want to get a, if you want to brush for yourself. Like yeah, yeah. I'll show. Ooh, we we'll get that one, and we we'll put a bit of. We might make it a bit purple here. Look. I'm just going to do a line around that for the moment. So while we're painting, it's always about the joy of painting as well. It's, it's not about, it's not about um, you know, trying to be, get, get the thing perfect from start to finish. It's about having a bit of fun along the way and then taking us somewhere that we wanted to go. And a lot of the time it will be influenced by, you know, what's going on in the news or, or the environment, mainly, you know, yeah. environmental kind of stuff. So like we, we, we did some paintings based on the Australian wildfires. Um, Which is that the, the, one, one over there? Yeah, that, that you can see later. But um, uh, but we're we're always influenced by, I think nature more than anything, you know. So Absolutely. yeah, they all follow on from each other. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. And then because that was done, this was done, and then that was one of the first ones. Six people were working on that one. Yeah. Good fun. Yeah. So anyway, we're. Um, we have exhibited together at uh, Walford uh, Imagine Arts Festival on a few occasions. And, is that uh, Walford Imagine Arts Festival? <laughs> yeah, it is, yeah. So uh, we're, we were delighted to be asked back and to do this little piece for you, you know, and uh, it's always fun. We enjoy painting all the time anyway, you know, so it's a thrill to be to be here doing it again, you know. It's all good. For Imagine yeah. Walford Arts Festival. <laughs> yeah. All right.